The following is a guide on how to connect your QuietCool Wireless RF Control Kit to a two-speed fan. Models Energy Saver 3100 and Stealth Pro 3.3. Important, wiring diagrams are for examples only. Wiring should be done by a licensed electrician following local building and electrical codes and or NEC guidelines. If you're installing this fan unit in new construction, please note that if use of arc fault breakers are 100% implemented in the home, or if the fan is being installed in a wet area such as a bathroom, you may be required to wire a dedicated circuit for the fan. Note that the fan came pre-wired to a power cord for testing purposes before installation. If you would like to hardwire the fan, or as required by local building codes, please follow the wiring instructions in your owner's manual. Remove the junction box cover on your QuietCool fan. Remove the wire nuts from the power cord and motor wires inside the junction box. Remove the ground screw. Remove the four screws that are used to mount the junction box to the QuietCool heavy duty steel housing. Remove the power cord bushing and power cord. Keep both the bushing and power cord as you will be using it for the installation of the wireless RF hub. Using your Phillips screwdriver, open up the wireless RF hub and install the power cord bushing through the hole at the back of the wireless RF hub. Run the motor wire leads through the large knockout in the bottom of the wireless RF hub. Using the four screws from the junction box, mount the wireless RF hub to your QuietCool heavy duty steel housing. Using a wire nut, connect the black wire from the power cord to the black wire from the wireless RF hub. Connect the white wire from the power cord and the white wire on the fan to the white wire from the wireless RF hub. Connect the red wire from the fan to the red wire on the wireless RF hub. Connect the blue wire from the fan to the blue wire on the wireless RF hub. Cap the yellow wire from the wireless RF hub. Ground the green wire from the fan and the green wire from the power cord to the ground screw in the wireless RF hub. Set the dip switch positions inside the wireless RF hub by flipping the switch labeled 2. Power on the wireless RF hub. The power LED indicator will light up. Press the test button to make sure the fan works. The test LED indicator will blink twice every 2 seconds indicating 2 speed and the fan will be on high. Press and hold the pair button on the wireless RF hub. The pair LED indicator will be on for 3 seconds, then turn off. This clears all previous pairings out of the wireless RF hub. Press the pair button on the wireless RF hub twice. The pair LED indicator will blink once every second, indicating the wireless RF hub is in pairing mode. Press either one of the buttons on the wall switch to wake it up. Now hold one of the buttons on the switch. The pair LED indicator on the wireless RF hub will go out and the wall switch speed indicators will be blinking, indicating successful pairing. You can now control your fan from anywhere in your household, making your home a cooler and more comfortable place to live. 